Hey, welcome into the arena today. I want to make a video on how to teach your horse bad habits. Okay? <laughs> and you say, gee, I don't need to know how to teach them bad habits. I need to know how to get them to quit having bad habits. Well, I'll just say that teaching a horse bad habits is pretty easy. Breaking those habits is a lot more difficult. And uh, the reason I've chosen this little Mustang, his name's Stetson. He's a six-year-old BLM Mustang, and I've had him in training for several months now. He's got about 20 rides on him, I guess. And uh, what he did the last couple of rides, especially the last ride, was he was kicking up his hind legs. Sort of a crow hop, um, but mostly just kind of kicking out whenever I asked him to do something that he did not want to do. And I assume he's going to do that again today. Actually, I hope he doesn't, but, you know, I assume that he will. So, here's the, the principle when it comes to dealing with horses' bad habits. Here's how you teach a horse a bad habit. When the horse does the bad thing, release the pressure. Ooh. Okay? That's how you teach a bad habit. For example, let's say that you went to pick up your horse's hind leg and the horse kind of kicked out with his hind leg. And, and then we go, oh, and back up. You just taught your horse to kick out because you released the pressure when the horse did the bad thing. Or perhaps you're going to put the bridle on and you reach up to bring his head around and he pulls his head away. And you just let him do it. You just taught your horse to pull his head away. You teach what you release. That's a basic principle of horse training. So the, the way horses get bad habits is they do something and then the person working with them lets the pressure off, either accidentally or out of a, un, they don't understand what they're doing or maybe they got scared, whatever. And so it doesn't take more than one or two times and that horse will develop a bad habit. Um, one of my lesson horses here last week, one of the, the girls was riding him and he walked away when she got him up to the mounting block. And I kind of just mentioned it to her and she got ready and he did it a second time. And she, when he walked away from the mounting block, she got off the mounting block. So it, two times and she taught him a bad habit. And she didn't mean to, she didn't know. And it took me about 10 times to fix it, where I had to stand there, poke him in the ribs and, and correct him. And so that's pretty much about the ratio. If your horse does something two times and it becomes a bad habit, it's probably gonna take you 10 times of correcting it to get him past it. If he's done that bad habit 20 or 30 times, then it might take you hundreds of times of correcting it to get, get him over the bad habit. And so what I'm hoping to do with Stetson here is to not let him develop a bad habit of kicking out whenever he doesn't like whatever I ask him to do. All right? Um, and he's just doing it. Like I said, he just doesn't like it. He's a Mustang. He's not real comfortable with everything that's going on. And also, I'll say this. When you're training a horse, in the beginning, especially Mustangs, but all horses, when in the beginning, they're afraid. And so they do things a lot of times out of fear. And so, you know, you tap the horse on the butt, he takes off because he's afraid. After a while, they get over being afraid of whatever it is you're doing. And then they realize, hey, this is a whole bunch of stinking work and I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay? And that's kind of where he is right now. He's, he's not really afraid of me. He's sort of okay with me riding him. Like I said, we've got about 20 rides here. Let me see what he does when I just ask him to trot. Okay. He just got ready to do it right there. He didn't actually do it, so I didn't respond, but he's telling me he's going to do it. He's going to kick out. Okay. So, again, the, the whole point is don't take the pressure away. Now, I don't want to... You, you want the punishment to fit the crime. So something like this isn't a big, 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 big deal. So what, he's go what I'm going to do when he does it is I'm just going to kick him a little bit with my legs here. It's not going to be anything painful, but it is going to be pressure. Okay? And I'm just going to say, hey, like right there, he stopped. I didn't ask him to. 
and it's pretty much the same thing him stopping and kicking out it's a different movement but it's the same thing he just not okay with what I'm doing and doesn't want to do it okay so let's see what he's gonna do here I'm not just trying to get him to do anything bad but right there he stopped and so I just increased the pressure with my legs um, and he's been doing that from the first ride he'll stop just whenever randomly he feels like stopping because he doesn't want to go <laughs> okay it's not not any real deep thing here okay so I'm gonna rub him because he's trotting out halfway okay and then he slowed down I didn't he he I'll give him the benefit of the doubt maybe he misunderstood the cue there okay so when he's been kicking out on me it's usually right there he did it so I just that was pretty you know that's pretty mild you may not even have seen that one it's usually when I ask him to speed up either speed up in the trot and he's I can feel him kind of bunching up underneath me but he didn't actually do anything bad when I ask him to move into a lope it's when he usually does it and and again I I don't believe there's anything physically wrong with him as far as anything that's causing pain he's just not wanting to do it all right let's see what happens here let me speed him up into a faster trot oh, there we go see his ears come back so he's just kind of telling me he's not okay he doesn't really want to do this so I'm just going to trot him out here right there he didn't actually kick out but he raised his head and he slowed down so if it gets worse then I'll pop him on the butt with my tail end of my of my reins here at whatever level I have to to get him moving so you can should be able to tell by his expression I'm just gonna let him know I wanted to move out here okay there we go so so far he hadn't done anything real bad let's see what he does when I ask him for a lope here we go actually that was really nice there was one little kick up so that wasn't much and I kind of ignored it okay <laughs> and he stopped he he just stops randomly there so I don't think it's gonna be real bad I, I think I kind of worked through a lot of it on the last ride by just not letting off the pressure and again I didn't overreact I didn't beat on him or anything like that I just kept the pressure and said no your release is when you do what I ask you to do let's try one more time lope him off this way here we go here we go So there he slowed down I didn't ask him to Good. <laughs> okay I mentioned on a video that I made last week that that all my horses I'm starting stop pretty good and they usually stop too good we'll work through that so actually I'm really happy for my sake that he he didn't hardly kick out at all um, sorry that it didn't make for a real violent video that perhaps you were looking for 
Um, but the principle again is don't let the pressure off when the horse does the bad thing. So what I did there, when he kind of kicked out or even when he just was kind of holding back on me, I was kicking him. As soon as he loped off, I let all the pressure off. Took my legs off of him and just let the pressure off and let him know that that's what I was looking for. Okay, so it doesn't matter what the bad, bad habit is. Uh, just don't let the pressure off. Let the pressure off when the horse does the right thing.